So I just got something new and I wanted to take a minute to talk about it today. Hi everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt. About a month ago, I made a video about my 2012 Mac Mini, which is now nine years old, and up until a couple days ago was the computer that I was doing all of my editing for this YouTube channel on. I was using ScreenFlow, I was using Final Cut Pro, and it was doing all the heavy lifting. And it got the, it got the job done, but it did not do it super well. And so this new computer is going to help me uh, improve the process that I have for making YouTube videos. It's really only for YouTube videos. Uh, I still prefer basically everything else on the iPad, so my iPad is going to remain my main device, but this is kind of my secondary computer, which just probably puts me in a unique scenario where usually the iPad is the secondary thing. But anyway, that's a whole rabbit hole. But today I want to talk about what I got, uh, what the experience has been like so far, why I chose to buy a MacBook Air now, and how I think this is going to change the channel. So first up, what did I get? Everyone wants to know the specs. And thankfully with M1 Macs, these are very basic. Uh, so I got an M1 Mac, so it has the Apple Silicon processor, the only one that's available right now. Uh, I got the 7 uh, core model, so the 7 GPU core model, uh, instead of the 8 one. I just looked at some benchmarks. It was only a $50 price difference, but it didn't seem really worth it, so I saved the 50 bucks. Uh, I got the 7 core one, which has been totally fine. Uh, I did upgrade the RAM to 16 gigs, and I upgraded the uh, SSD to 512 gigabytes. And both of those were because I, you, I do video work on this device, and so I'm going to be dealing with very large files, very large projects and then uh, very large exports uh, once everything's done. So I really don't want to run out of space on this. I export all my projects to an external drive when I'm done anyway, but I really don't want to run out of space and I certainly don't want to run out of RAM and have issues down the line with that. So uh, those are the two upgrades that I made. And so how's the experience been so far? I mean, listen, everyone's told, told you it's great and everyone's right. <laughs> these computers are fantastic. Uh, these are entry level models. Like I got the cheapest laptop Apple makes and it runs fantastically. And not just compared to the 2012 model that I'm replacing, which was also the cheapest Mac Apple made nine years ago. This is fast compared to a relatively decent computer uh, that I use day to day. And that is a 2015 MacBook Pro, uh, spec'd out one. As far as I can tell, it has all the max things you could get for it in uh, 2015. And that's what I use for work. My work provides me that computer and it runs great. It's fantastic. The M1 Mac is faster. <laughs> and so it's really, fun to see like uh, you know computing actually uh, come down in price and everything uh, but yeah it's it's crazy how much faster this m1 mac is than that 2015 macbook pro when that 2015 macbook pro was probably three times maybe even four times the price depending on how they exactly configured it but yeah i ran some benchmarks i'll show them right here uh, basically i did some web benchmarks that show the uh, m1 mac smoking everything else i did some geekbench ones that showed the same exact thing and then the most relevant one for me was a render of actually this week's video from earlier uh, where I did a mock-up of what the always-on screen could look like on an iPhone coming up in the future. Uh, that took about nine minutes to export on the M1 MacBook Air and on my 2012 model it took over half an hour. So huge difference, huge uh, savings in time uh, for me once I'm done with the project, which is great. I will say one thing that I do really not like about this computer is I keep touching the screen. Like I use that 2015 MacBook Pro every day, but I, it's usually in clamshell mode. I have it hooked up to a monitor. I basically use it as a desktop. And so I haven't used an Apple portable in a couple years now. And so I'm so used to kind of on the iPad Pro having the magic keyboard with the trackpad and keyboard and then having the touch screen that I can touch. And to not have the touch portion of that is really, it's, it's weird sometimes. And so I keep like wanting to scroll Twitter like with my thumb, like grab the side of the screen and scroll like I do on my iPad, I can't do that. It's a little annoying. I would really love a Mac portable that has a touch screen. I'm sure it's coming, <laughs> it's just not here yet. So one question you are probably asking right now is why did you buy one of these now? There are rumored new computers on the horizon. Why did you get one right now? It seems like a bad time to get one, right? I would say no. Uh, I, I think that we are getting caught up in the rumor mill a little bit, some of us, uh, including myself, uh, before I actually kind of sat down and was like, wait a second, this doesn't make any sense at all. These computers came out two months ago. It's mid-February right now. They came out in December of 2020. They're two months old. They're still incredibly new. Uh, it, it, it's unlikely these are gonna get an update this calendar year. And if they do, it'll probably be in November, December when they get maybe an M2 processor. The new computers that are rumored for the spring, summer, that sort of time frame, these are all higher end devices. Yeah, they're gonna run like an M1X or an M2, or we don't really know how Apple's gonna name their processors uh, to differentiate them, but I don't think Apple's gonna replace this model 
anytime soon. I think that they'll get a, it'll get a bump maybe in a year, but if I if you want, if you're gonna not buy a computer because it's gonna get bumped in a year, you're never gonna buy a computer. So I think it's totally fine to buy one of these now. I think that Apple is gonna release a lot of new Apple Silicon computers this year, and maybe even within a couple weeks or a month or two. But I don't think they're gonna replace these. I think these are gonna stay in their line for a little bit. Uh, and so I feel totally fine buying it. And again, based on the performance that I've gotten, it's more than sufficient, so I'm very happy with it. So how is this gonna change the experience of watching a better computer? It's not. <laughs> this is gonna change absolutely nothing from your perspective, at least in the short run. Uh, it's really an improvement for me, being able to edit faster, being able to work faster, export faster, uh, because I have a day job. So I work for eight to nine hours a day at a regular job, and I do this before work, and if I don't finish it before work, I do it after work. And so uh, this has to go into these really small windows of time that I have to work on the project. And so being able to have my tools be faster, have them keep up with me better, that's gonna be a huge benefit for me. Uh, and it's gonna help me just get content out more reliably. I don't think I suffer from not releasing anything. Like you never go weeks without a video for me. I do a pretty good job, but um, this will help do it a little bit better uh, and will just it'll just make the process better for me. Longer term, I hope that this means that that improved speed lets me do more interesting edits, lets me do more B-roll, that sort of thing. Uh, but you know, first things first, let's just make sure that this process, uh, I get all my, all my workflows moved over to the new computer. If you see this video in the morning, that means it went great. If you see it at night, it means it went okay today. But <laughs> in the long term, I think that there will be some improvements, but uh, just be patient with me. And so that is it for me. Uh, I'm really enjoying the computer. Just wanted to talk about it for a few minutes today. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this about how to use your Mac better, how to use your iPad better, iPhone better, uh, whatever, uh, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you here next time on A Better Computer. Bye-bye.